And since we had quite a ways to walk, we had to be on a certain hill when we heard that 8.30 bell because we would be tardy, which was almost a sin in those days. You had to be on time. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Can and fan 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 the lad. Correct. You may be seated, Jillian. The man and the lad. The man has a cup. And the children would come up usually on what we called a recitation bench. And they'd sit there, or they'd have their work done from the night before. If there was something they had troubles for, we'd go over it with them. While those classes were meeting with the teacher for whatever subject it might happen to be, the other students were busy with their seat work, working in workbooks and getting their arithmetic done and, and answering their social studies questions or geography questions or whatever it might happen to be. One of the things that I liked about the uh, one-room schools is that students helped each other. And so if a student was particularly good, say, in reading, uh, they might very well mentor another student who was not quite so good in, in reading, or arithmetic, or social studies, or geography, or whatever it might happen to be. It's just interesting to think about how one teacher could teach all of those levels, the challenge of all of those ages, and uh, keep things going that they didn't just teach the three R's, they taught a lot of other things, like responsibility and respect, those R's.